Welcome Libra to your end of the month reading for May. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, the friends, let's see what's going on with you in the end of the month. You can straight into this beautiful Mercury retrograde. Okay. Whoa. Using the cards in my lap. That's not a good thing. Okay. What's the message for Libra? I have a mental conflict just flying out. Okay. So whatever you felt like you have some kind of mental conflict going on over here, it is really showing up that there is something worrying you. What is worrying you? Why are you in worry? Over your fulfillment of wishes. Feeling like the fulfillment of wishes are not coming through at the end of the month. Um, it does say use your intuition. And having better communication. It's almost like you're communicating, communicating these worries to someone. Definitely communicating your worries to someone about a love situation. Mm. So there's definitely some kind of a worry about a love situation where your heart chakra is upside down about the situation. Not feeling the positive movement forward when it comes to this love situation. Not clearly seeing what this situation has for it because you don't feel the firm foundations within the relationship. So there's definitely some kind of worry um, when it comes to this situation. It's almost like I'm trying to fix this situation and I'm, I'm just afraid that it's just not going to fix itself. Yeah. Cold shouldering the situation. Have you started cold shouldering them or are they cold shouldering you? Could be a Virgo. Um, it doesn't have to be, but um, it does feel like you're not seeing what's either they are cold shouldering you or you're, you're cold shouldering them. Just keep it that way. Bad relationship, backsliding relationship. Trying to meditate upon the situation. But that's just going to make wishy washy energy. Because if you know you're meditating upon the situation, I feel like it might be you who's kind of cold shouldering, pulling back because you are worried that it's not going the way that you want it to go. Um, trying to find the meditation by using the, the intuition to try to fix the situation at hand within within this backsliding relationship. The problem that I see with this situation, though, is when you're meditating, trying to find the answers. When you have mental conflict, you're not going to come up with the right um, kinds of solutions, guys, because you're you're in a place of sadness, right? So it's going to kind of you know, and it feels like you're trying to find the inner peace within the situation, but you're allowing the worry to overtake, right, the intuition. So it's going to be harder to try to find that. Um, but really speaking the situation of the disappointments at hand. Um, so you, you are speaking this to someone as well, um, or they are, right? Remember, if it's not you, it's them who is speaking about this situation, Okay. It does feel like it is you, though. I'm going to keep it with you at this time. If you know it's not you, then it's them. But whatever the situation is, it's like I'm just, you know, giving up. I'm definitely giving up, because, it, but it causes me insomnia. It really is getting to the point to where it really hurts. Um, and you are speaking to someone about this. It could be another water sign. It could be a cancer that you're speaking to. Um, and you're speaking of this person is, like, wearing rose-colored glasses, um, Maybe they lied to you and you can't understand why they're lying. Um, so you're pulling away. They're confusing. It, it's, it just feels like right now it might, if it's not none of those, it could just be with the moon upside down. Total confusion about the situation. If it was a situation that was going good for a while and now all of a sudden it's just peaked back up to being bad, it is definitely going to put you into worry and confusion. Um, so take that one how it is. But you feel like your heart is kind of hardening towards the situation. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, doesn't have to be, or even a Taurus. Um, but it does feel like 
you know, you're traveling towards the things now that are making you more happy about the situation, trying to find your rewards, right? Meaning I'm, I'm, even though I'm doing this, I'm still going to work. I'm still going to put forth the effort that I need. You might even be going on a vacation. You might even be traveling away from them. You may be even packing your bags and leaving. You may feel like they're hiding secrets. I know I see secrets. Now I'm definitely seeing some secrets. With the moon upside down and the high priestess upside down, you may feel like they're hiding secrets. Um, and with no positive movement, you do not, you know, it's going to be hard because you're in a, you, you could be in a very depressive mode, um, or mood to where you're not going to put forth the effort. So it feels like now you're not putting forth the effort. Now I'm starting to really believe that it's you, who's the hermit, who's really kind of cold shouldering them because it's showing no more effort towards the end of the month. You have me in confusion. I know you're hiding secrets. I don't know if it's lies. I'm not sure. You know what I'm saying? Um, for some of you, you know it's lies because your intuition said so. Um, but if you are having, like I said, a hard time really trying to figure out why you are confused about the situation and can't figure it out. And that's just because, remember, you have too much worry, um, which is not going to allow your intuition to fully open because your chakras are not completely uh, moving correctly, right? So it just it just causes more worry and confusion um, to be able to see that. And that's for something you're not real view, of course. Um, with the eight of, it's like they moving past any communication. It almost feels like they're trying to text you, they're trying to write you, and like I said, if it's not you who's hermiting. Whoever's doing the cold shouldering, let's put it this way. <laughs> One's writing to try to get, you know, to the understanding of what's going on. And the other is cold shouldering saying, I'm not answering your messages. Okay. Because I'm done. And there's definitely no clearly seeing this situation coming back to the love that you were looking for before. This is definitely a love reading um, with the king of pentacles. Somebody is definitely could be definitely dealing with a Taurus. I have Taurus three to three times. Um, so we're going to say, Libra, that your person is a Taurus. doesn't have to be. You feel like, you know, you might still have some monetary gains. You're still doing very good. You, the self-assurance of where other things are going is very well. Um, but I also feel like this person, for some of you, um, they may have a lot of money. Um, and maybe you feel, you know, like they've kind of, yeah, escaped with For some of you, I, I'm going to say that did they come into a lot of money and then their whole personality changed? I see that because it feels like for somebody, they came into a lot of money and they kind of traveled away into their own little place um, of secrets and this and that. And they kind of, you know, and then they kind of made this great escape um, or you are making the great escape. But it does feel like somebody made a lot of money and it changed the personality. It changed the person. That's for some of you. And it just flipped the firm foundation. It just flipped the household. It flipped the relationship. And there was, you know, and there is determination at the end of the month that they still, it almost feels like they want their pie and eat it too. And you're feeling, the end of the month, though, guys, you're going to feel much more uh, confident and much more stable, meaning that your mental conflict is going to start going away. Okay, once once you really have the clarity and the understanding of what's really going on and the confusion starts kind of drifting away, and you really clearly see the situation at hand, um, you're going to really get yourself back to this stable place. Um within yourself, not this relationship, within yourself. Because then your emotions will be able to really come back um, together without the mental conflict. So you won't feel as much confliction. 
and it'll take some determination on your part, of course. But you'll have to escape, you know, all of the um, mental confusion that you have at this time to be able to really, you know, bring yourself back up kind of above water, right? So either you really want to get yourself balanced. We, you know, we were talking about balance. You know everything about balance. You know, you understand balance. You know that, you know, if I have too much of this and not enough of that, I'm going to feel imbalanced. And that's really what's going on here. Um, so there is no... There will be no more confusion to the situation, for sure. Because once you get yourself into the true knowing and understanding and self-assured of putting everything back together, you're just going to be fine. But you have to let it go, right? Because that's the place it's going to be. And this is letting the mental confusion go. Having a better understanding of the situation at hand, maybe even understanding the relationship cannot flourish this way um, because this person is not doing the correct thing that they're supposed to be doing whatever it, they were doing wrong. Everybody's story is a little bit different to why the moon is upside down, but I will tell you one thing. It is definitely about confusion. Um, and it would be confusion. You know, if all of a sudden you were doing really great, yeah, keep yourself balanced. Um, if you were doing really great, and then all of a sudden they became somebody because they got money or something happened, you know, or they got a new job or however it is, and they started becoming strong in a different way, um, It could even be that they, they found their strengths and talents and it just made them kind of wear a crown. They felt that they were better than everybody else. Something like this. I really feel that. And it just, I don't know, maybe they went seeking other women, other men, something of this nature because they felt like they, I don't know, they feel like they're, look, they're all coming out as all kings, all queens. They definitely feel like they wear some kind of crown, like they are... Maybe they feel like they're better than you or they're better than everybody else. There's some kind of ego thing that just happened to the majority of most of your people's person here, okay, where it just became very imbalanced and then they became very impatient with you, um, you know, because they're going after their nine of cups. And, you know, it just causes a cloud because I just feel like, you know, um, kind of like that song from ACDC, he's been thunderstruck. Yeah, but the problem with the thunderstruck is that he's now believing or she's now believing they're better than everybody around them. You might even see that they lose some kind of ties with maybe even their best friend. Like, who's this new person that you're hanging out with? You see, things like that do happen because they think that they're bigger and better than everybody else. Or you might have their friend calling and saying, what the hell happened? Uh, they're treating me kind of poorly, too. Um, and I call that the thunderstruck uh, mode because that's where they kind of lightning bolt everyone. And start believing that, you know, they're so much better. So with the Three of Swords, it, it could be that you and their best friend are kind of feeling this as well. I mean, this is because of the strength, but this is an overall strength that they've gotten in such a different way, right? They could be a, become greedy um, and just this person you don't even know and then combative about the situation, right? But they think that they're having victory, friends. They think that this is where the, all the victory lies. Um, if they did come into a lot of money, remember money can change people. Um, and this is why we always say winning the lottery and stuff like that is not always the best, um, for families because I've watched so many of those. I won the lottery, ruined my life TV show where it's like two beautiful people been together for like 30 years, win the lottery, bam, gone. You know, it doesn't matter which one, gone because they got fender struck, Right. So however it is, whatever is going on over here, it feels like they've taken this kind of 380 turn because they got something. They were rewarded with something. They have, you know what I mean? Maybe they got this job that pays so much money, um, however it is. Maybe they got a new wardrobe. Maybe they changed their look and now they think they're super sexy. See, women do that too, right? We've seen that. Where all of a sudden she gets this kind of makeover and then she thinks she's like, I don't know, a model, a European model or something. However it is, it's something that has to do with the ego. We have too much um, Leo. It's definitely, you know, a, an ego issue. Okay. 
So you will come out of this mental conflict towards the end of the month once you start really putting all the pieces. Remember, you have all the tools within yourself to figure out the answers to why this person is really acting this way. And maybe that was the whole point. Why are you acting this way? Well, it could be that. And I'm going to learn. I'm going to leave that to Thunderstruck, right? Okay, my friends. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye. Thank you.